Outdoor kitchen set up guys, outdoor kitchen set up. Check it out. So, lockdown today. Today is curfew, started from 10 a.m. We home, now it's just after 1 p.m. Trying to have a little fun at home, so we're gonna be cooking up a nice little blackened fish with stir fry veggies. A piece of snook, the big one I caught. Gonna cook up that, we outside. Trying to make the most of the day, we can't go anyway, so we're still trying something. So I'm set up right here. Check out that snook. Two nice fillets, one for the wife, one for me. Two nice chunks. All the veggies here for the stir fry. All the seasoning, whatnot, oil, etc. Water. I think it's out here real hot, you can see me sweating. So we'll see how that goes. And um, I have some rice that I boiled on the stove. Pass my rice, I'll be eating it with. So let me get to cooking, and then we get to eat it. Welcome to another episode of Coast and Fishing. We're in the gallery today. Today is lockdown Sunday in Trinidad and Tobago. We're locked down from 10 a.m. Can't go anyway, so we're home trying to make the most of it. Apologies for the outdoor noise because we're trying to outdoor something. Have a little fun. Today, I'm going to cook up a blackened fish, stir fry veggies, and eat it with some rice. I have the fish right here. Take a look at this beautiful two pieces of snook, the big one that I caught. It's just about finishing. Probably this might be the last set. I'm not sure if I have one more piece. And we have some wonderful veggies. Whatever we had in the fridge, we unlocked them. We can't get anything. Some carrots, okra, onions, pimento, tomato, sweet pepper. Go and do a quick stir fry with that. Eat with the fish and some rice. Afterwards, I hope to pop the drone to see how things looking with the whole lockdown, how things looking. But rain falling right now. It's real humid, real hot, sweating like a crazy. So we're going to see how fast we cook up this. Hopefully the rain stop and we can pop the drone and I can show you some footage of the surrounding area. First thing we're going to do is cook the fish. Get out of the way one time. So this is the fish right here. Very simple seasoning we're going with. We need some salt first. Both sides. Then we're going to use some of this JGM Cajun seasoning. That is all the seasoning we're going to use for the fish. Covering it generously on both sides. Rub it in there. This has a mix of stuff in it, so you don't need to add anything else. Right? So JGM Cajun seasoning. Have garlic powder, onion powder, cayenne pepper, oregano. Real nice combination. And now we have the fish seasoned. Let's light the stove. Tommy always to make it light it without thing here, but. We have fire, baby. So the stove crank up there. So when the pan to get hot, we're gonna add the oil, put in the fish one time. Using avocado oil. Yeah, you're looking at me, I just suffer from high cholesterol, so I try and use the best oil possible. To me, all the research, I see avocado oil is the best. Olive oil is good, but for high heat applications, like stir fries and stuff like that, avocado oil is even better. So that's why I'm going with this. Coating the bottom of the pan. Do what I fish to stick. It's pretty thick pieces of fish. So it might take about two to three minutes on each side. My both sides are well seasoned. Alright, we oil and crank up there already. Check that fish sizzling there now, man. I love cooking in our wok. It just make things a more exciting, a little easier for me. 
As soon as you can see the fish like turn halfway white, you can flip it over. Like I say, it might be two to three minutes on each side. Cook on a medium high heat. All right. All right. If you see that lovely crust there, that's where we want to get exactly that. Piece a little thicker, I'll leave it for a little 10 seconds extra. Cook up nice. Wow, check that cross. So check the cross on there, guys. Are we exactly are we trying to get some blackened fish? Looks perfect so far. So just about two minutes on each side, we should be good to go. So what are you guys doing for the lockdown? As you're home, you can't do nothing. We were locked down from, the only time we, only time we were out today, guys, was from 5 a.m. to 10 a.m. That's the only time we were allowed out, unless they had some your know, essential services. Other than that, you're supposed to be inside, not even on the road, so they are cooking in the gallery. Trying to make the most of it, you know? Take a look at this cross here. Woo! Because the fish is so thick, I just want to turn this one on your side. The side get a little cook. And that fish is just about done. Check it out, guys. Switch off the stove for now. Wow. That looks fantastic. All right, guys, now we're gonna cook up the veggies to fry. Same pan we're using, of course. Light back the stove. Gonna add a little bit more avocado oil. And to the oil, we're gonna add some grated garlic, ginger, and a piece of hot pepper. Get that garlic and stuff sizzling, so it's a little, turn a little brown. Go and throw in your veggies. Right, guys, as soon as it, it's had a turn a little brown, you're throwing all your veggies. I don't like my veggies overcooked, so not cooking this too long. That looks absolutely gorgeous. Cooking it for like a minute, then we're gonna train the sauce. Nice char on it. Then we're gonna throw in this sauce. This sauce, I'll put the list of ingredients in the sauce on the screen. Nice combination of flavors. This is gonna be real kicking it up a notch. Veggie stir fry looks Amazing. Add some Thai Kong fried rice and vegetable seasoning. Not too much, but the sauce had a little bit of salt in it. So some extra flavor. And just a little bit of water to get more sauce. looks gorgeous man now how long you're cooking this for depends on how you want your veggies i don't like it so far like it nice and crisp so maybe that's about 30 seconds again and this should be done i'm gonna plate it up
That should be it. Go and plate up a plate now and eat some. All right guys, so I just went for my rice, basmati rice downstairs on the stove. Put some of these delicious veggies on, onto the rice. Using my hand, right? Piece of fish. And check out that meal fit for a king. Cooked in the gallery, guys. Real sweat up there, guys. Check this out. All right, I'll give it a taste. I'll try the fish first. Check out the cross on that fish, wow. If you never tried blackened fish before, you have to try it. Just season side well, the sides well, put it in some water oil, cook it off. That is wonderful. And inside nice and soft, the outside crispy. All right, let me try the rice and stir fry now. Veggies nice and crisp. The sauce, very flavorful. And check the ingredients of the sauce. You'll see why it's so flavorful. Nice Asian kind of mix. So you try the fish still fry on your rice now. So while I'm eating all this, I'm gonna finish all this. I'm gonna pop the drone, take a look at the area, see how we're looking for the lockdown. If we see anybody, if we see any cars on the road, we'll see. But what else we could do? We home, making the most of it, cooking a meal on the outside, eating it. And they're sweating like crazy, but because it's humid, looking overcast, rain not falling right now, but it is hot. So I eat in and burn it out one time. But a great meal. This snook went to well use. So hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Coast and Fishing. Trying something different, we home, nothing to do. Having a good time out in the gallery cooking some food. Thanks a lot for watching. As always, keep pushing, start cooking. Cook on, cook home, cook outside. Try something, enjoy yourself. That's what it's all about. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Till the next one, keep fishing, fish on. Bye for